Hi, Jorge. In this section, we will analyze the financial market and we will obtain the LM curve. First of all, we should remember that the interest rates are determined by the equality between the money supply and money demand. That gives us the following equation. In this equation, we see the relation between nominal income, money and interest rates. If we divide both sides of this formula with prices, we will get this result. In this result, what we see is that in equilibrium, real money supply is equal to real money demand. Wait for a moment, Jorge. I'm a little confused about the difference between real and nominal monetary demand. Let me put you an example to see if I have understood it correctly. For instance, if I have four euros on my pocket to buy a cup of coffee and each one of them cost 80 cents, I could buy five. If the price of a cup of coffee increased to one euro, I could only buy four. That means that my real demand of money has decreased because I can buy less goods. But the nominal demand of money keeps the same. Right. So, if I want to buy five cups of coffee as before with the new prices, I should increase the nominal money demand from four to five euros. Am I right? Absolutely. Okay, let's continue then. Okay, let's suppose that the money market is at equilibrium. That would mean that the real money supply is equal to the real money demand. What would happen if there's an increase in the people's income? Or say in another way, what would happen if there's an increase in the economy output? That's easy. If we have more income, we will increase the demand of money to make more transactions. That's to say, if we are richer, we would be able to buy more goods and services. For sure. And what do you think will happen to the interest rates? Let me see. If people increase the demand of money, the interest rate, which is the price of the money, will increase. Exactly. We can see in the following graph a summary of the whole process we have just described. If income increases, so will happen with the demand of money. Shifting the demand curve to the right and increasing the interest rates. So, the equilibrium in the financial market means that an increase in the income will generate an increase in the interest rate. As a consequence, the LM curve, which represents the relation between the interest rate and the income in equilibrium, is outward sloping, as we can see in the following graph. As we know, the LM curve is not a fixed curve, it shifts. Could you give me an example, Jorge? Oh yes, let's assume the central bank decides to increase the monetary supply by printing money or by buying bonds. This will create a reduction in the interest rate. We can observe this change in the graph. A shift to the right on the LM curve reflects a decrease in the interest rates for a given income. Let's summarize. If the financial market is in equilibrium, an increase in the income will generate an increase in the interest rate. Beside that, if we increase the monetary supply or decrease the monetary demand, the LM curve will shift to the right. And now, you should answer the test of this section. Remember, you can do it just one time, and the grades will be part of your final marks.